My mom was a CVICU nurse, and so I lived and breathed cardiovascular um, disease in our household. And so I was just in it from the beginning. My mom was very influential in um, uh, pushing me towards medicine, and um, she never said that you had to be a heart surgeon, but she exposed me to people like Ed Garrett and Rodney Wolf, some of the giants in the field here in Memphis, and I just was hooked. And so in the summers between college, every single summer I would come and hang out with the heart surgeons here, and it was just amazing. And so I knew from the very beginning that cardiothoracic surgery was for me. I think this answer that you probably get a lot of the times is helping people. <laughs> I'm drawn to the physiology of the heart and um, the way that cancer works and um, how we can help cure some of the historically incurable cancers, like lung cancer. I would consider myself a general cardiothoracic surgeon. I offer the basics of cardiac surgery from surgical bypass to valve disease to rhythm management including um, AFib surgery and pacemakers, taking out pacemakers. And then I also do thoracic surgery, tumors in the chest, tumors in the lung. And then in addition to that, I'm part of the advanced heart failure team here and we offer mechanical devices and heart transplant to the patients who have end-stage heart failure. Well, historically the way to take out cancers in the chest and do a lot of chest surgery is um, to make a very large incision. We're able to um, approach these tumors, specifically it's cancer surgery, with minimally invasive techniques. The robot allows you to get 360 degrees with your hands and you can really come around and look at tumors and get very advanced lymph node staging and do some very complex um, surgery that you would not be able to do otherwise and we offer that here at Baptist. When I first discovered cardiothoracic surgery as a college student, um, I was very passionate about it. And as I went through medical school, I heard nonstop that um, you can't do it because you're a woman. This is what I was drawn to. This is what I was called to do. And in order to pursue this field, I had to have a good support system. My husband's amazing. I have three young kids at home and I'm allowed to do all that and still give 100% at work. Well, when I'm not working, I have twin babies and I have a three and a half year old and they take up all my time when I'm not at work and my husband, of course. But I also love gardening and I play violin on the side for fun. <laughs>